And then for anything spicy, whether you're doing spicy uh, Singapore prawns, whether even you're doing Mexican food or uh, Indian food, always you have the holy trinity of spices, which is going to be your onions, your ginger, your garlic, and your chilies. Now, hang on, that's four things, isn't it? Um, the four horsemen of the spice world. So again, you're putting them in the pan. You want to hear a sizzle, a shout, a wahey, a little bit of whoomp, a little bit of la di da, a little bit of shoo shoo shoo, a little bit of woof and bark. The, the, the Lebanese would call this a labna. Um, you could add some garlic and some cucumber to it. You've got a tzatziki. Um, you could add some sort of burnt smoked aubergines and you've got a sort of baba ganoushi sort of uh, effect happening there. Um, an important uh, factor of cooking, you see I've got all these crispy bits in the pan, I've got all this taka taka that's stuck to the side, all this detritus, this, this flavoursome effluvium that I'm going to just scrape off. That's going to add an even nicer little crunch to the prawns. Now for to take care of our vegetarian brothers and sisters and love them or hate them, they're sort of here to stay as long as they're pure vegetarian. I've got nothing, nothing much against pure vegetarians, but don't give me that sort of lipstick vegetarian. The, the sort of, um, I don't wish to be seen eating meat, but I actually, you know, eat it on the sly. You know, like I'll have a bit of fish, I'll have a bit of prawn, I'll have a bit of tuna, you know, that hasn't killed a dolphin. Uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper, I don't know, I'm just sort of scrounging around my spice cupboard, looking for something a little bit sexy. Yeah, fennel could do, fennel could do. And get these big dramatic skewers, you know? I mean, you don't want these piddly little um, oversized toothpicks. You know, on, on, on your buffet, on your barbecue, you want drama. So that's what I'm talking here. And even the vegetarians need a little bit of drama. So, um, I'm just gonna hang these up over here. Um, again, it's, it's, it's all about drama and about a bit of fun and about causing a little bit of a stir. I do get this sort of perverse pleasure. I don't know what it is. Everyone's got their own little sort of ditty. And mine is sort of managing to uh, clean out my larder or clean out my fridge. So I've just got a, a bit of uh, Heinz ketchup that's never ever going to see the light of day again. I've got uh, this jam that my grandmother got me for Christmas back in the late 70s. I'm going to sort of finish that off in there. I could use the end of my HP bottle. Um, it all gets thrown in here, really. Um, and uh, as I said, I, I just get one of those little kicks out of cleaning out my fridge. I don't hurt anyone with my little fetish, you know? No one's hurt at all. So, uh, you know, don't judge me, okay? Essential barbecue component. Boom! It's bright time. Aloe vera. Cleopatra used to treat her soldiers' wounds with it. Check, it's a wonderful thing because God designed it in a sort of toothpaste tube. You see, just ready to apply. It's amazing. Um, I'm just going to put, and you can do the same exactly with beef fillet as well. You can put it directly onto the coals. And that's what I'm going to do here. And uh, I remember when I first saw this, it was uh, a guy having a barbecue in Uganda. And uh, as soon as he did this, uh, you know, obviously around the barbecue, there was much, you know, wailing and gnashing of teeth and guffawing and how could yous. Um, and he said unto us, he said, oh ye, little faith.